Navy, the midshipman, and whoo, new head coach, Brian Newberry. Uh, interesting. Interesting, right? Uh, they went 4-8 and eight last year, but their post-game win expectancy, whew, you're going to love this one, uh, 7.98 and 4.02. Yeah, they were expected to win eight games. They only won four. So Ken Niamatololo was shown the door. Brian Newberry, the defensive coordinator, was hired, which seems a little strange. Um, but hey, I, I've seen weirder, I guess. So, returning production, they're number 43 in the country, number 65 on offense, number 35 on defense. Uh, they were 7-5 and five against the spread last season. Just to let you know, this team was, uh, I believe, what they call a wagon at the end of the year. They were covering everything. So, they bring in new offensive coordinator, Grant Chestnut. They've got P.J. Volker as the defensive coordinator. Uh, they were number one in penalties per game, number 45 in turnover margin. This team was pretty good. Uh, their luck rank was terrible. Um, let's let's start on offense. Let's start with the offense, okay? Grant Chestnut was at Kennesaw. He showed kind of more passing concepts in the triple that they run there. Uh, so, that's why Brian Newberry brings him in. They're still running the triple. Uh, the quarterbacks, Ty Lavatai and Xavier Arline, they're battling with Blake Horvath for the starting job. They had injuries in spring and whatnot. Um, I've, I realized this today that Ivan Jasper is still the quarterback's coach. It, in 2021, this became a huge thing because they forced Ken Niamatalola to fire Jasper as the offensive coordinator, and then after two days, he was reinstated as the quarterback's coach. So then they hire Newberry as the new head coach after firing Niamatalola at the end of 2022. And I just realized that Jasper is still the quarterback's coach. So they didn't fire him along with Niamatalola. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But we'll see, right? I mean, this team, a lot of, uh, they've got a lot of experience. We'll just say that. We'll just say that. Uh, the offensive line returned 64% of the snaps, but only returning 42% of their wide receiver targets. So if there is a new offensive philosophy, it's going to require some new skill guys to step up. They're going to need some new guys to be able to make some plays. We'll see. Who knows? On defense, secondary was awful. Number 130 in uh, in PPA per pass allowed. Number 132 in pass explosiveness allowed. Um, and now they lose John Marshall, the leader in pressures, sacks, and tackles for loss. Uh, can the run defense be as good as they were last year? They were number 10 in the country in rushing success allowed. Uh, they're going to need the secondary to force more runs, for sure. you got to find a way to stop teams from uh, from throwing the ball on you. And maybe you can do that. We'll see. Uh, the team went 11-23 and 23 over the last three seasons, but they were 19-15 and 15 against the spread. So they were competitive, but they lost way more than they than they used to, right? Uh I, I put on here, can Gleaton be more successful at quarterback than Lavatai? It's because I started my notes early, and Lavatai was coming off of an injury. Uh, our line, didn't, we didn't know if he was going to play. Horvath, I mean, who knew? So it looked like Gleaton was probably going to be the guy, but regardless. Uh, defense has got to get stops. They were number 113 in the country in fourth down conversions allowed, number 59 in points per scoring opportunity. You got to get stops. This team's win total is sitting at six and a half, and it is plus 115 to go over, minus 145 to go under. They are projected favorites by me, just my numbers, in only three games. Make this make sense to me. Uh, I've got seven toss-ups here. That Those are all spreads that are within one score. But this schedule looks difficult. I, I just, I'm not sure that I fully get what's happening here. And so, so we'll see. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm going under on this one. I, I've got them, I've got them at four and eight. Um, their ceiling, I think is eight and four. So that's good. But I think the floor is probably three and nine. Uh, you've got Wagner on the schedule. You got, uh, you got some of these CUSA teams that are coming in, right? UAB uh, at Charlotte, North Texas, but it's still difficult. It's still a very difficult schedule. And I don't know that I trust Newberry as a first-time head coach coming in um, 
We'll see. I don't know. So Navy, yeah, I've got it four and eight. I like the team. I like the uh, the returning experience and whatnot, but that schedule's still tough, and this team has not figured out how to win yet. And I don't know that a first-year head coach is going to be able to show them that. So we'll see. We'll pay attention. We'll see what's going on. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.